The train station here in Lviv in Ukraine's west has become a staging po post for people fleeing the war. There are nowhere near as many people here as there were in the initial days of the invasion. But what we are starting to see now is people who've made it out of Mariupol, for example, that city in the country south which is besieged where we're hearing about pretty dire conditions. And the stories the people from there tell are pretty harrowing. You asked me how it was? I left everything behind. My parents are still there. They won't let my father cross the border, and my husband is overseas. It was really hard. We lived in the basement for seven days. Next to our house there was a ditch where they were throwing the bodies of people who'd been killed. Horrible things. Me and my son managed to escape on foot. We left my parents behind. But there was no phone connection. But my father managed to call me this morning. He says they're still shooting. I don't know what's going to happen. Basically, there is no Mariupol anymore. Now, many of the people arriving here are able to make their way further westwards on their own steam, but for mothers with young children, there is a mother and baby room. They're able to go there, spend about 24 hours, get a hot meal. And if they don't have the money to go further west, uh, then the authorities or volunteers will help them. When we were in there earlier, we saw one man just come in with a simple handwritten sign, and sure enough, he pretty quickly found a carload of people to take them on to Poland.